It's Friday, July the 11th. Just get off, got off work, and um, been doing a lot of carpenter work because the other other carpenter injured his knee. He had to have um surgery done to his knee, so he hasn't been able to work. So I'm on the I'm the only carpenter working all this week. So I've been working in a outside in the heat in a in a ditch, tying rebar, putting up screen walls for concrete pouring. So I'm pretty much doing all the work by myself, me and, and my superintendent, because we're the only carpenters. So we, we're one less carpenter this week. What else happened this week? <clears throat> I really wanted to talk about Egyptian Lover today. Um, just got it on Napster, so I added all his music they had on my MP3, which is a good thing. But, um, you know, it's classic music right here, Egyptian Lover. So I added all his music on to my mp3 I made my own little playlist for it this is you're so fine but anyway to show that I am a true fan of Egyptian lover now this is stuff I used to buy back in the 80s in this little case here this is what they called back in the day a cassette now this is his first album first cassette this is the first one I brought up is the Egyptian lover on the now got that on my mp3 now they just added it to Napster. Not to say I was a big, big fan, but I love this music. This is One Track Mine on cassette. This is from 1986, I think. On and Now was from 1984. Yeah, on Egyptian Empire Records. Now, the two albums that Napster don't have, let me, let me keep going, is Filthy. This is from 1988. This is the album he came out with that wasn't on Egyptian Empire before he came out with his greatest hits. But this, they need to add this to the Napster. Hopefully, I requested and hopefully they can add it. But this is a pretty good album right here from 1988. This is what he did with on um, New Beat Records and was distributed by on um, Priority Records back in '88. Then after that, he came out with his greatest hits on um, cassette. But there's some good songs on this one. I like them. Um, I don't want you. I want you. Also, what else was Bad Beats Around was also cool. Planet E. What else? But um, I, I like I Want You. But he re released I Want You on a um, 95 album. But I'm gonna get I got that on my MP3. But this was a good album. But it wasn't on Egyptian Egyptian. <clears throat> I'm still tired from work. Egyptian Empire on records. This was on New Beat Records. I guess it was a national deal compared to the independent deal that he was doing his own stuff but that's filthy from 88 I got that now this is his best album in my opinion <clears throat> I used to um back in 88 when he came out with this album I had like um this is his greatest hits The Egyptian Lover let's see King of Ecstasy his greatest hits he remixed all his greatest hits all on one set got it upside down but um I got that on my mp3 now but um, I used to use this cassette and I had another cassette of this one and I had a mixer, like a little small mixer. I still got it somewhere, good chance. But it was just a mixer and I had a cassette player hooked up to it. So the turntables, I had two cassette players. And I would mix Egyptian Lover old stuff like On The Nile and One Track Mine with this. Because most of these songs on here are seven, eight minutes long. They're all remixes and redone extended versions of the original versions from the 80s, 84 and 86. What I would do, I take a set, put one of the original songs, mixed it up with this, and I would have a mix of my own, and all my own little mixtape. But I was good at that, but most people use turntables. I would use cassette players on a mix with a mixer and two cassette players. I would mix up Egyptian Lover stuff because his stuff was so easy to mix up. You could mix Egyptian Lover stuff compared to the stuff of today. The beats became pretty, pretty much got CDs now you can mix with. But anyway, that's from 88. Now, this is another one that this was the last Egyptian Lover album I brought. It was on Egyptian Empire. This is from 19, I think, I can't remember, I think 90, 1990, yeah, 1990, the Egyptian Lover, this is from 1990, and um, this is on um, Get Into It, now, they don't have this on Napster, I wonder why, but this was a good album, I liked it, um, 
This is when dance music back in 1990. This is when dance music and current hit radio was playing a lot of white artists that sounded black, like um Dino and um Stevie B. So when Egyptian Lover came out with this one, you know they were pretty much, in my opinion, Dino and Stevie B was pretty much imitating what Egyptian Lover was doing in the 80s. So Egyptian Lover came out with this album, and I like this album. This is a pretty good album. I haven't heard it for a while. But this is a good album. This is Get Into It from 1990. That's the last album I brought. But with my MP3, I added some other music that he has. Well, let me see what we got. That was This is from the um, Greatest Hits album, King of Ecstasy album, You're So Fine. What else? I also have, let's see what else album I have. He came out with an album in 95. Let's see. Back from the tomb. I didn't get that album. I didn't know. See, I had moved from Texas to Louisiana, then I moved to Mississippi, and Mississippi really wasn't big on Egyptian love. Like Texas, Texas, you could find Egyptian love stuff all over the place. And Louisiana, you could find it all over the place. So when I moved to Mississippi in the 1990s, you couldn't find no Egyptian love. So I didn't know he came out with an album in '95 until recently. Back from the tomb. And then he did another remix album. I got that now. Peril Mix. Yeah. That's from 19. I think that's from 95 too. I got that on there. And it has I Want You on there from the 88 Filthy album. Hopefully Napster will add on um, Filthy. The 88 album. But with it not being on Egyptian Empire Records. You never know. But I like that. that Filthy album because he had two. We got Want You on there. Baddest Beast Surrounds on there. Planet E. It's a pretty good album. I think that was the only album he did that was um, distributed nationally through Priority Records. Everything else has been through his own day with Egyptian Empire. Then he has his 2005 album. I have that now on, on my MP3. I've been playing that all day, my MP3. And that's the um, Platinum Pyramids. So I got all the Egyptian Lover stuff except for the two albums. But I was, like I said, I was a fan of Egyptian Lover growing up. And I got all this stuff right here on cassette. On cassette. This is before they had CDs. Also had on. Um, Rodney O. He was on Egyptian Empire too. This is Rodney O and Joe Cooley. Me and Joe. I think this is from 88. Yeah, 88. Now, Joe Cooley was one of the, in my opinion, one of the best DJs in the 80s. But that's Rodney O and Joe Cooley. We were into this kind of stuff in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And them and Kuiper. Kuiper came out back in them days too, back in 1990. When I was living in Baton Rouge. Now this is Three the Hard Way. This is from the Atlantic Records. They wasn't on Egyptian Empire on this one. But this is their second album, Ronnie O and Joe Cooley. But on their first album, I feel, was their best album. Because it was on Egyptian Empire Records, I guess. And this is their last album that I know of. And this came out. When did this come out? I was in Baton Rouge when this came out. Can't remember which. Nasty Mix Records. I can't remember when, what year this album came out. 91, yeah, I was still in Baton Rouge. And this, this Ronnie Ojo Cooley, they were playing this all up in Baton Rouge. They like, um, Get Ready to Roll. That was a big hit for them. But their first album, I feel, was their best album. Which had more hits on there. I used to, this, I had an LP up and I used to mix that with my turntables. Which this is for this is for my homies was a good song. Yeah boy. Everlasting bass was their biggest hits. Biggest hit. Coolie High. But this album, this was their best album, in my opinion. Everlasting Bass was a big hit for them. But I, I told you I had a triple number stuff. It's all on the set. But now I got it on my MP3, so I'm pretty happy about that. But my time is almost up. That's all I wanted to talk about. What I got planned for this weekend? Nothing but sleep. I'm tired. Been working in the hot sun, 100 degree temperatures. So it it drain you. After eight nine hours of work outside in the sun, it it kill you. So I talk to y'all later and um, be safe. God bless.